Buick has some updates for their lacrosse. Hennessy setting records again. Ram wants the Ford SVT Raptor to stop having all the fun. And Dodgers 392 is their Charger sedan. Plus, an Audi TT is introduced to the side of a house. And we got a couple other things. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and Wednesday's Fast Lane Daily is in full effect, right? Now. Bless you. You know, I think Buick has this stigma of being cars for old people. Now, that may have been true in the past, but in recent years, that's just not the case. Buick just took the wraps off their 2014 LaCrosse sedan. It's got a revised exterior, interior, and new technology. On the outside, you got new LED headlights and taillights, revised bumper, and a larger grille. And check out the inside. Hey, I mean, that's class all the way. There's a brand new dash and center stack, plus new seats with higher quality materials. On the tech side, Buick's rocking the new IntelliLink system, which mirrors the Caddy Q interface. You also have new safety systems all around. Front and all-wheel drive is available with four and six-cylinder engine choices. Hey, I see what you're doing, Buick, and it's good. Plus, the name of this car is LaCrosse, which is a high-energy, cool, hip game. So... Old people aren't playing lacrosse. That's true. You know? I'm saying. Hennessy, the tuning company, knows how to make things go fast. Give them a mile to put the hammer down, and they are bound to break some records, which is the case with their Ford GT. For the past two years, they brought their GT to the Texas Mile and punched the asphalt square in the face. Last year, they hit 263.3 miles per hour. Whoa. Pretty quick. <laughs> This year, they came back and crushed the record again, hitting 267.6 miles per hour. Whoa. Even quicker. Yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering, Max, uh, the car is street legal. Really? But its paint job should be illegal. I hear oh, you. Oh, right in? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. It looks like Ram is sick and tired of Ford soaking up sales from off-road racing wannabes with their F-150 SVT Raptor. Word is that Ram is considering a Raptor-type truck of their own, built by the Mopar team. They currently offer a Ram Runner package with some modifications for suspension and dirt-ready features, but the proposed model would come straight from the factory, ready to ride. Or ready to Ram. Team Ram Rod. Yeah, yeah. Team Ram Rod, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Dodge, they're offering this, the 392 Edition Charger, and it should turn a few heads. It's rocking 470 horsepower, same as the SRT8 version, but the 392 kit brings with it a partial gloss black hood, roof, and rear spoiler, plus some unique wheels. SRT will build 392 of them, and it'll go on sale later this year. So uh, if you want one, go ahead and buy it. What can I say? You said it. I did. Have you ever been driving along in a quiet little suburb, and you think to yourself, you know, I could easily launch off that car in the driveway and make my way into the front of that house right now? Definitely. You definitely have? Yeah. Well, someone in the UK thought of it as well and thought it would be a good idea as they drove their red Audi TT over a silver BMW into the wall of a house and onto another Audi A4. The 20-year-old driver was rushed to the hospital and there isn't any word in his condition, but given the crash, we could expect bad ideas and speed was definitely involved. Or he just really hated that house. Yeah. Well, we hope he's okay. And we think he will be. All right. Oh, by the way, the link to that video is in the description. So, we showed images of the new 2014 Cadillac CTS on Monday. Well, Caddy, Caddy basically just said, F*** it. Let's show the whole thing. So, here you go. Here's another picture of the front. You got the back right here. Let's have a gander on the inside. Cool. And you get the idea. We'll show, what, we'll show you what it really looks like in person when we're at the auto show tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Or Friday, whichever show we choose. Oh, and uh, Nissan recalled about 20,000 NV vans over a gear shift issue. Really? I thought it was a, this van looks like an old man's orthopedic shoe issue. Yeah. Hey-o. hi -o. Look at that thing. It's ugly. It's terrible. It's pretty hippie. Yeah. Well, this episode of Fast Lane Daily is in the books, or in the internet, yep. I should say. I'm Derek D. We'll have exclusive coverage from the New York Auto Show tomorrow and Friday, so make sure you tune in to watch that. We'll be doing that awesome thing that we do at auto shows that all you guys love. Hey, maybe even Bob Shubin Jr. is going to pop up. I is hope that, so. Yeah. Maybe Cadillac? Probably. I don't know. He's been kind of weird lately. He wants more money. we got to talk to his agent figure something out. Uh -oh. yeah, I hope it works right. out. Yeah. Anyway, we're on Twitter. Like us there. Facebook, follow us there. 
Nope, strike that, reverse it. YouTube, subscribe, iTunes, watch, Instagram. We're posting a picture, probably right around this time. And uh, t-shirts, wear them, FLD app. Bob Shubin? Yeah, I think he's coming. He's coming? I think, uh, I think. We gotta talk to his agent. Yeah. Isn't that you? No, no, it's my uncle, uh, sort of. That you, let, you let him, but you let him borrow your clothes, so that's maybe why you're confused. Here. Yeah, I let it, we're the same size. That's where the difference lies. Yeah, so, all right. Bye. See you at the other show. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. That's a K. Sorry, take three. You know. In action. Uh, you know. And to I, go, take it. You know, Rolling. I think Buick has. <laughs> right. No. No, don't do it. Don't do it. It's gonna. Ah. Oh. 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 Thanks, because that, that was really hurtful. Oh shit. Ow. We're living in the fast lane, baby.